what's next, of course, is I've got to have a way to balance the, my wheels on the arbor. I need to find out what the taper of this is so that I know what angle I've got to set the compound on the lathe. I've got these calibers set to an inch and I've got a sharpie mark here on the spindle and let's just hold them against here and make some marks if I can. Seven ninety five on the smaller mark, nine twenty four on the larger end. So we've got our two readings, nine two four and seven nine five, and we're going to subtract the smaller one from the larger one. So fourteen minus five is nine, ten minus nine is one, eight minus seven is one, so one nineteen. And that's really close to eighth of an inch. That's really close to one, two, five. So I'm going to round that up and call that eighth of an inch. And that's over half of an inch. Um, what we want to find out, though, is what is that over a foot, since um, tapers are usually designated as taper per foot. Quarter of an inch over one inch, right? Two fifty. And so if I want to find out what that is over a foot, I'll multiply that by 12. And we get 0, 10, 0, 2, 5. So 3 inches over a foot. Now, what I want to do is I want to find out what I've got to set the compound on the lathe to. Um, so what I do is I'll, how about this? We want to find out then what is the arc tangent of 3 over 12, right? 3 divided by 12, 14.06. So now, that's the, that's the included angle. We want half of that because, you know, when you're cutting a 60 degree thread on the lathe, you set the compound to about 15 degrees, right? Or 14 and a half. Uh, so we want to cut that in half and that's going to tell us what we've got to set the lathe to. So that divided by 2. All right, so if you want to cut a 3 inches per foot taper on the lathe, you want to set the compound to 7.018 degrees. So the question is, what stack of gauge blocks, how large should it be, will I need to put on one side of the sign bar so that I can get my three inches per foot taper. I was taught that triangles are supposed to look like this, even though when we're at the lathe, it's really going to be more like this. But anyway, we know this angle. This is 7.018. And assuming we're using a five inch sign bar, which is a typical size, and that's what we'll be using, that will be five inches. And we want to find out what this side is. This is the height of our stack of gauge blocks. So what we want to do is we want to find out what's the sine of 7.018. And that is equal to this side B over the hypotenuse. So sine. 7.018 gives us this number, this 0.1221, and so we want to multiply that number by 5. So 
answer times 5. And now the height of a gauge block stack that you must use to set the lathe compound up for 3 inches per foot taper is 0 0.6109.